The problems are far from over when it comes to cashless tolling here in New York. And the state knows that and is trying to prepare for all of the problems before the entire state goes cashless by the end of next year. Two on your side's Leanne Stuck shows us how. It's excessive. I mean, it's almost predatory. Western New York knows the complications that come with cashless tolling. When the Grand Island Bridge went cashless, many people were sent bills with excessive late fees and were told to contact a customer service line. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. $50 per dollar late fee? No. As the state prepares to go cashless at the end of 2020, the Thruway Authority, MTA, and the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey are creating what they're calling the Offices of the Toll Payer Advocate. It'll be a place where people can go whenever issues arise instead of relying on a phone number. They'll also be able to dispute bills, late fees, and sign up for Easy Pass. There are other issues facing drivers. If you don't have an Easy Pass, it could soon cost you more money in tolls. A proposal approved by the Thruway Authority would charge drivers who pay by mail an extra 30% at each toll, plus an extra $2 per billing statement in 2021. Last week, some local lawmakers told us they don't support it. It's a heavy handed, unaccountable authority that is making decisions without ever having conferred with uh, the electeds, without ever having listened to the general public, because I can tell you everything that I've heard is that there is no appetite for a toll increase. All of these have domino effects, and I think that this is one that we seriously need to look at before it goes into effect because of the number of people it's going to impact. As far as the Office of the Toll Payer Advocate, we don't know yet where they'll be located and how many will be in each region. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News.